What's up everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Player Profile. Today we're going to focus in on um, Tampa, Bay def Tampa Bay forward Brett Connolly, uh, budding young forward with just tremendous talent uh, on both ends of the ice. Um, start off number 6th overall pick, number 6 overall pick in the 2010 draft. Uh, I'm going to recap why he was a 6th pick. And didn't go sooner, but um, was the first rookie since Patrick Marlowe to score 30 goals in the Western Hockey League when he had 30 goals and 30 assists in the 2008-2009 season for the Prince George Cougars. Uh, went into that his draft year 2009-2010 as a projected top pick uh, alongside Taylor Hall and actually ahead of Tyler Sagan at the time, and uh, was hurt hurt his hip and uh, missed significant time. Um, only played 16 games all year and I uh, recorded 19 points in those 16 games. So he falls in the draft. He's projected, you know, probably 10th or 11th. Eiserman reaches and grabs him at the sixth pick. Ahead of players such as Jeff Skinner and Cam Fowler. At that time, and I still kind of do think they should have grabbed Fowler, um, you know, defenseman of, of that offensive ability and Guy Boucher's system is kind of, oh shit, like, wow, what can he do? But um, back to Connolly. You know, Eisman looked past his injury history and uh, took a took a flyer on the kid last year. Played for Canada at the World Juniors, won a silver medal, and uh, lit up the Western League. Forty six goals in fifty nine games. Um, one of the elite, one of the top scorers in the league. Got hurt in the playoffs as uh, the injury bug continued to, to follow him. Anyway, gets to campus here in Tampa. Has an outstanding camp. Um, earns a roster spot. Uh, Starting at the third line. He's, see, Guy Boucher shuffles his lines a lot. So it's really hard to you know, put him on one particular spot before he spent most of the year. But for a while, and he, he was the other night for most of the game, um, he's been riding shotgun with Marty and Vinny, which what two better role models for a young, for a young man than those two? They help mentor Stamkos. You know, they help turn, you know. He, um, six points in 16 games. He's not exactly lighting it up offensively, but he's doing the dirty work in the corners, going the front of the net. Um... You know, just playing a good pro game, and that's that's what you got to do. Um, you know, and like I said, playing with guys like that, the points will come. Don't worry about it. You know, Vinny and Mario. I mean, the, when you just watch what they can do offensively, and obviously with Stamkos, all you get to do is do your part on that team, and uh, you know you'll you'll, you'll be rewarded. Uh, I think I'll end up with 15 goals this year for sure. I think I'll 15 goals and uh, 35 maybe 40 points because he's got he's got that offensive skill. Scored the OT winner the other night. Uh, against Philly on a on a rebound on a nice just gritty go to the net uh, right place right time, and uh, you know I I really don't know who to compare him to he he's kind of a power forward he's more of a finesse power forward, um someone said Nathan Horton I think Horton's meaner and I think Collins a little more consistent than Horton um obviously Horton fell out of favor in Fort Lauderdale because. You know, the inconsistencies, he was game to game, he, he didn't bring it night in, night out. I think Conley brings it night in, night out. But when Horton drops the gloves, he's as, he's as tough as there is. And I don't, I don't think, I, I'm trying. I'm not trying to pump one of my, one of the Bruins players, but he's he can throw down with both fists. He's tough. I, I don't know how tough Conley is. I haven't seen him fight. Um, he's got 10 pims on the air. He's a tough kid, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if he, his toughness on that level, but his consistency level is there. I think he tops out. Um... It's probably a, a 25 30 goal scorer long term with Stamkos on if he's on Stammer's wing. You know, you can kinda of, he'll work the corners and I mean, put it this way, Stammer's gonna shoot, just go to the net. There's gonna be rebounds, you know? That's what you get I mean, and like I said, Marty and Benny, as good as passers as they are, they're gonna shoot. So just just crash the net and you'll you'll be rewarded. Um almost all of his goals have been inside of five feet. Uh, all three of them actually happen, almost all. Like he scored twenty. <laughs> but um, you know, he's just go to the right areas, and I, I don't know if he'll challenge for the Calder Trophy this year, but um, I think long term he's got as bright a future as any prospect in hockey, and um, I think him and Carter Ashton, uh, the Lightning's other top prospect, who was the AHL Rookie of the Month for October, um, will form a great power forward duo, and that uh, was Stamkos, and obviously Vinny's going to be there for the next 25, 30 years. I don't know how long his contract is. I'm just kidding. It's about eight years, but uh, you know that'll be a great nucleus going forward. And Marty, Marty. No signs of slowing down. So, you know, I, I really think if you get guys like that that can score, work the corners, win battles along the boards, and help out, you know, Stamkos and company, it's great. And I think they got a great nucleus going forward um, to compete for the Cup not only now but for years to come here in Tampa. Uh, that's pretty much it.
So, oh, someone said Dave Andrichuk uh, with comparisons to Conley. I don't see that. Um, I don't. I love Andy. I love Andy. He's one of the great, probably for a while, it was the greatest Lightning of all time. But I think Marty and Vinny have wrestled, and Stammer, for that matter, have wrestled that away from him. But kinda, you know what? Hanging around the net, a- Andy scored a lot of his goals from around the net. Um, yeah, you know what? Not totally, but kinda. I, I do see it a little bit. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's it for today's Power Play play player profile. Uh, like I said, more are going to be coming, so just stay tuned and let me know what you think. Anyone want me to highlight a player, just give me the heads up and I will go into the presentation. Now, in fairness, don't say, I want you know the fourth line left wing of the Dallas Stars. Well, I think it's Eric Nystrom, by the way. You know, hockey life. Or, uh, you know, just, I, I, want the, I want to focus in on the good young players around the league because you know, they're the future of the league. You know how I say children are our future? Well, the young players are, are the future of the National Hockey League. So see you guys later.